Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Atriox, and we're back with another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Now, initially, I had planned to put this video up yesterday, but um, with Cyrax T's and then the drop of uh, my sector background video. Now, if you guys haven't watched that yet, it's up on the channel now. It's a pretty good video, if I did say so myself. But anyways, um, yeah, so I, I, I was going to leave that for today to have something to post on the channel for you guys today. So, um, yeah, so basically, like you, like you see on the screen now, like... Cyrax teaser came out yesterday and there was a lot of stuff that came with it like obviously sticky bombs and everything like that was pretty cool to see uh yeah it's very like mk9 Cyraxy, so it's pretty damn cool but anyways um yeah i kind of want to just go over like the cameos that are possibly coming up in a uh, future dlc pack and uh i'm not trying to say i told you so but it's looking like what i thought is actually gonna come to pass where they're gonna put cameo fighters in their own packs. You know, I sent that back when the Chaos Reigns DLC first got released and the cameos um, were nowhere to be seen. I, I just felt that that was the route they were gonna take since they didn't tease any cameos inside the actual combat pack or have it listed anywhere. It just made the most sense for them to just put it like separately for itself. One more question I, I wanna touch on is the cameos. I think, I think we could see cameo packs become a thing with the with the way combat pack 2 is set i think they use combat pack 1 as like a, a testing ground for the cameos but i think the cameo the cameos are gonna have their own packs because i was watching some some videos from other content creators talking about like the cameos not being in the in the actual combat pack but i think they're gonna what they're gonna do is like obviously warner brothers wants mortal Kombat to make money so they're gonna do something like that where they'll have individual packs for the cameos because if i'm being honest like if we're talking about a year worth of content, this is not a year worth of content right now, what we're getting. Because like, think about it, right? So, Comet Pack, uh, Comet Pack 2, right? With Chaos Realm. We are getting three characters dropped on launch. That's three three characters. Like, just think about that. That's three months worth of, of characters being dropped all at once. And then we have another three who, they haven't even disclosed when they're, they're gonna drop. So what are they gonna do in the meantime? There has to be something to fill the gap. You know in, in that like in between time which is which is what i believe i believe they're gonna insert ca cameo packs and like i know people don't want to hear that but at the end of the day like you know that's like that kind of that's i can kind of see how that could be something that extends that period and gives them that full year worth of content with the cameos because i'm gonna be honest like it's no need to like to have the, com the cameos be in the dlc pack well i mean i prefer it because like it's less money for us the consumers but at the end of the day like i can kind of see them go this route with cameo packs and like i don't know like i just feel like if they were going to do something like that with the cameo packs it'll probably be like four or five cameos and like maybe they uh maybe they come with a few skins too for like maybe like 15 or 20 bucks because like like i said with three characters on the launch it's just not enough it's not it's not enough content for a full year even if you do the story like the stories you're gonna, you're gonna beat that like probably in a day or two and you'll be done with that and then like all you'll have left is, is the characters so, like i just don't see it being like a year's worth of content so having a and obviously like you know i'm sure there are people gonna complain about um more characters and cameo costing money but at the end of the day like you know if you want more dlc content you're obviously gonna have to pay for it as much as that sucks to say and like i wish they would give some free characters but at the end of the day like you know it's still like it's still a business so like at the end of the day you can wish as much as you want like this they but warner brothers wants to make money so they're gonna keep pumping this stuff out but you know you just gotta choose what you what you like and what you don't like i, I feel like at this point because like not it's not all gonna appeal to you and i'm sure there'll be packs where you can just buy certain characters that you want which you know it is what it is it's not exactly um, friendly for your pockets but at the end of the day like you know it's up to you to make that final decision for yourself but anyways let's uh jump into what we're here for right so in the meeting with the design was designed we drew we threw oh the mask can't even fucking read we threw around ideas for mk1 year two chaos rings uh cameo fighters some names that came up included blanche mks old lady which is also like um madame bow in this timeline uh kid thunder if you guys don't know who kid thunder is i'm sure you could look it up like kid thunder is a I, it's kind of like my pick if i'm being honest then we got invincible i mean man son i don't really care for uh, i don't think i'm I don't really care for Invincible. I feel like that spot could be taken by anybody at this point. And then Chucky, 
obviously i would love to see chucky or like any serial killer like appear in us like cameo that would be actually pretty damn sick who would you like to see most raiden kid thunder omni man invincible ghostface chuck plus chucky anybody plus bonche <laughs> i'm sure there's a lot of people say anybody plus bonche um raiden plus kid thunder could be cool to see just because of like you know the dancing they like use the kid thunder and all that stuff and then like the actual kid thunder i think it could be interesting like i i voted kid thunder obviously mortal Kombat related or blanche blanche is pretty damn cool even though kid thunder was in last place which i think was crazy and how the hell was invincible in second of all of all possible out of all of them invincible like pretty got omni man whatever if we're gonna have like a guest character appear like let it be like a, a maybe like a guest character we've had in the past you know what i mean like we had like um jason or freddy up here again as a cameo would be super fire like i don't want i don't want to see invincible in the game like we have enough with the the regular character um them taking up enough character slots it would be cool if the guest characters were cameos instead of freaking actual playable characters but that's my that's my own thing but if i had if i had a choice like honestly i would rather them go with like a uh, more mortal kombat related characters versus like you know someone like invincible or you know any any anti-hero stuff like whatever if it's not gonna be an mk character then it needs to at least be like some like maybe one, one of the past guest characters we've had or even like a newer one that like isn't that like super requested but like you know it's that kind of like niche character that you know that could fit in mortal kombat like as long as it it fits in mortal kombat i'm fine with it like it's not a big deal but because like at the end of the day like you know sometimes like I feel like they, they have these these guest characters pop in and like I don't know if they really feel like Mortal Kombat like Omni Man and and Homelander they're a cool story but do they really fit in Mortal Kombat I don't know I, this is like my own opinion I'm not really I'm not really fans of um, MK One's like uh, guest characters so like whereas like you had like Terminator and Spawn or was like really sick and cool characters. They try up the ante and they put anti heroes and like Homelander and I know that there's people who like obviously the boy show and then obviously like the invincible show. But like I'm just not a fan of, of the these guest characters for Mortal Kombat One. But this is my own opinion. If it was if they were in like Injustice, it would make more sense to me. Just because they kinda of fit that whole scheme, especially with Superman being like an anti Superman, anti hero type vibe. Like that that would make more sense for them to be in that series, but I feel like in Mortal Kombat, it just feels weird, bro. Like, I, maybe my opinion is just like very different from what the majority of people are are feeling in that case. But I, I don't know. That's just how I feel. But anyways, yeah. Like, so I figured, uh, you know, I just get on here and talk about this subject for a little bit. Like, it would be interesting to see how they they would like, you know, put these characters' abilities to work. So maybe like Blanche, she has a lot of throwing mechanics, or. I don't how would she work as a game because I assume she would have at least three or four moves like you have a move where she would you would throw her and uh maybe like you would have Madame Bo's move set I guess you would be able to use have some kind of like old-fashioned like kung fu type moves I don't know it'd be interesting to see how they would implement um Blanche uh Kid Thunder could be cool Kid Thunder could have all the powers of like old school Raiden that, that I would love to see something like that that would be interesting and invincible obviously it'd just be a you just take this move out, out of the show like they would do like they did in the past was, with uh omni man so which I, I think it could be it could be interesting if we really go that route i really hope they don't but you know that's just my opinion and then chucky like obviously chucky could have a lot of like different types of uh moves like from having jumping out of the back of the corner freaking stabbing them like maybe like stunning them for a second or something like i don't know like i feel like chucky could have some pretty cool moves honestly like if i had to rank this list for me i would love kid thunder first or blanche like that's like a 1a 1b for me to be honest and then chucky like and if i have to put invincible in that list then i guess i'll put them but if, honestly i would take them out and i would put like someone like we could put somebody maybe like a mortal Kombat character probably like maybe like kira or cobra like one of those niche characters that they don't want to put in the game as a fighting character because they're not super popular but also like they want to have some kind of representation 
of like the 3D era games. Like I feel like that, that could be cool. Do we even have a lot of rep I don't even think we have a lot of representation in the 3D era characters. I mean, yes, there's Mavado. I think that's it. Is this Mavado for the 3D era in cameos? I'm not I'm thinking about it now. Like I think it's this Mavado. Off the top of my head, because obviously I'm not looking at the character select screen right now. But I think it's just Mavado. It'd be cool to see some more. Maybe a Hakotaro or um Darrow. Like it could be cool. Like that's if you want to bring those characters in those cameo, cameo characters, I'll be down with that. Because at the end of the day, like having more representation of Mortal Kombat characters, I'm always gonna be for. Even though I would like to see um uh Kira make it into the game one day. Especially like now, I feel like they could do a better job of um picking up these characters and making them like seem like better fits for Mortal for a Mortal Kombat game. But um yeah, so this is uh this is actually this is a cool little thing that Boom Tease. Like obviously like you know people aren't gonna want to pay for more cameos, but like I figured this was gonna be the route they go because like you know it's Warner Brothers. Like they want to like monetize every aspect of the game, and uh, obviously you're buying because like they figured okay. So I, I think they're the way they're attacking this is like they feel like okay. We're giving you a, st a full, st uh, well, not a full story, but like a five chapter story. We're giving you new skins. We're giving you six new characters. So like, you know, that on top was getting a cameo. And I feel like these cameos aren't going to come out anytime soon, if I'm being honest. Like, I feel like maybe it'll be a few months after uh, Gas Reigns comes out. Like, maybe like, you know, maybe like two months. I think we'll start seeing something like that around there. Cause like I feel like that first, maybe not even that, maybe like a month and a half to two months, like around there, that time period is when we're gonna start seeing them talk more about the cameos. Just because like if you really think about it, like there's gonna be so many people talking about story, the characters are gonna be still in full swing, and like I'm sure they're gonna have like these invasion modes that really like insinuate you know the kind of the chaos reigns DLC and all that stuff. So I feel like you know they figured okay, so a month and a half, a month and a half is a month to a month and a half is gonna be enough to get. That, that first little like you know excitement from the for the chaos rants DLC and then how do we continue it? The only way to continue it is by dropping these cameo characters, and which they'll do like they did with last year with um dropping them one at a time, and an invasion like you know what character one invasion so maybe do something similar to like that, and then we'll see the guest the new guest combat pack two characters come to the fold. That's just like the way I'm seeing it. Like now, now that I'm sitting here thinking about like how they're gonna go about doing that because obviously. You know they have mentioned that they're gonna have these cameos pop up in the chaos rings uh for year two but you know i don't know like that's just kind of the way i see how it, it'll drop and i don't know like just like from more of a business point of view it makes sense you know if you ever worked like uh, like in a real job or been a manager or something like that like you know how like they're they're gonna do things that make sense that they can like draw money from and like as much as it sucks to say that, especially when it comes to gaming, like this is how it is nowadays, bro. Like, you know, no matter how much we complain about it, it's not gonna change. Like, it's just how it is. But anyways, guys, let me know you guys' thoughts on like the possibilities of these cameos, uh, these cameos prices, and like, you know, which one did you vote for out of the, out of out of the list? But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Um, like I said, I would love to see Kid Thunder be in the game but i doubt it like i feel like if they any of these are gonna make it it's probably blanche is it blanche or blanche i don't even know it's like even here i even said it how sound they're not winning at all like obviously i want to see kid thunder in the in the game but anyways guys i'm out of here guys because like we did see him didn't he appear in one of the fatalities of raiden's like back in the day i don't know oh, this is my last closing thoughts anyways guys i'm out of here guys hope you guys have a good rest of your day and um oh wait wait there's one thing i do want to talk about before i get out of here the trailer for the story comes out today at some point i'm not sure if it's gonna come out now or when i'm at work I'm, I'm, i really hate when they drop trailers when i'm working because then i have to wait all freaking day and avoid all types of like uh, other content creators dropping their videos on it and wait till i get home and drop it at like nine o'clock at night which i i hate doing that but you know i hope i hope it releases within this hour or two but if, it does, if it does, then I'll be able to do a re uh, reaction to it. If not, then I'll just have to do it when I get home. So be on the lookout for that, guys. I'm out of here. Peace. Enjoy the rest of your day.